My name is Winthrop Wellington. I am the general manager and part owner of Travelers Beach Resort here in Negril, Jamaica. Travelers Beach Resort is a small family-owned hotel consisting of 60 rooms, but we have amenities of larger hotels such as a pool complete with a swimmer bar, waterfall, grotto, jacuzzi, and kiddies pool. We also have a gym facility along with an aerobic center as well as a spa and salon and a beach bar and restaurant. Benefits of a small hotel like Travelers and I guess the difference between maybe some other institutions um, is the family intimacy that we offer here and um, our saying, our motto as it is, is welcome home and that's on the back of our business cards and on all our brochures because we try and make you feel as if you're part of the family whether it's your 10th time coming to Travelers Beach Resort or it's your first time coming um, and that's kind of the brand that we're establishing. As far as keeping up the, that branding for Travelers Beach Resort, I think it, uh, I, the majority of it is with the staff um, for sure and I think that's what really differentiates us from our competitors and other hotels are, that you can go to not only in Jamaica but anywhere around the world is definitely our staff and they're the ones who uh, project that sort of feeling that you get and many of our guests who have stayed here again whether it's the first time or your tenth time staying here really do feel like they are part of the Travelers Beach Resort family. The bar and, and the dining room um, is located adjacent to the to the seven mile white sand beach of Negril, Jamaica. Um, it's you know we've done some upgrades actually in the last six months to the indoor restaurant. We plan on redoing our bar actually starting this month as a matter of fact, uh, just to upgrade the facilities and kind of uh, make us a little bit more competitive. Uh, great location, great drinks, great food. Uh, so um, it's it's actually quite an experience to, to dine with us and drink with us. Uh, as far as our guest reaction to who dine with us or have a drink at our bar, we had a guest from uh, Europe, from England as a matter of fact, they were here two weeks ago and they said they've been all the way, all around the world and they said they haven't had quite um, an experience of being that, so, that close to the ocean, almost being on the ocean and having dinner uh, with the waves splashing against the beach and um, it was re it, it's really wonderful to hear a guest, guest say that and I'm, I'm sure I would, I'd like to think that many other people who have dined with us and stayed with us feel the same way. We're definitely very centrally located so we're the third hotel up from the roundabout which is downtown and grill so you have, you're within walking distance of the, the craft market which is probably which is the biggest craft market in the grill where you can get authentic woodwork and uh, artwork and things of that nature. Um, also shopping as well, any type of tourist uh, things that you need that, that you want Jamaican wise and you want to take back home for family and friends that's all within walking distance. Um, as far as other bars and restaurants and perhaps even nighttime activity very very close. Um, we have many many great restaurants in the grill that um, I do encourage visitors to go and, and experience um, and they're all within walking distance of the beach so you got many many bars literally it's bar after bar, restaurant after restaurant as you walk down the beach and also as you walk down the roadside so it's uh, quite a great experience. Um, as far as other activities to do in the grill, of course, um, you have to check out Rick's Cafe if you do come here and if you're brave enough, uh, you can also take a leap off the, the cliff which is about a 35 foot jump. Um, also a lot of fun and, and, and a good experience as well that if you haven't done before, I, I do encourage you to do so. As far as our activities go, um, we do we do many uh, a variety of of our variety of things. So we do weddings, family reunions, um, meeting. We have conference facilities as well. As far as entertainment goes, on Friday and Sunday we have karaoke, which uh, some call the best karaoke in Jamaica. Which we do take uh, very take a lot of pride in doing that. It's a lot of fun. On Saturday nights we have a jazz band slash reggae band. Uh, kind of mixing the two two genres together. Uh, that's also very entertaining and fun to be a part of. And then Mondays we have a beach bonfire, and Wednesdays we have a manager's cocktail party in our lobby. And we have uh, this guy named Bunny Rose who comes in all the way from Mandeville every Wednesday and performs uh, on our baby grand piano in our lobby. Another another great event that we like doing every week.
I'm hosting uh, B. Randy, the champion bubbler queen contestant winner. Um, I mean, it's great. We, and we love, as a hotel, we love to participate in anything that we, not only for charity work, but anything that we could, um, I guess, help out with other businesses and not only just here in Jamaica, but also abroad. And I think there's a, a dual relationship, uh, a dual benefit, if you will, uh, in doing so. So, you know, B. Randy comes down for a great vacation and uh, the contest, that can, contest I actually gets to give away a free trip for somebody to Jamaica on a beachside hotel. You can contact Travelers Beach Resort uh, a few ways. So we have a local telephone number for those in the United States and Canada, 718-514-6031. Uh, Visit us on the web at www.tbr.travel. Negril is um, is definitely an anomaly and in, in, in relative to the other parts of the island. Um, it is very, very safe community to be a part of. Um, it's a tourist community and that's the majority of our income and as a community we take tourism and hospitality very, very seriously and one of the main components or the central components of that is uh, security and safety. And I think that's one of the reasons why as a town we've, re we've remained relatively safe um, to not only other parts of the island but other parts of the world, I'd say. Philanthropy is also a big part of our, our culture as a hotel. Um, and t uh, ten years ago, my father started a nonprofit organization, the Grill Education Environment Trust. And our focal point uh, for that nonprofit organization has been educating the children of Jamaica. And over the years, we've been able to donate close to, or at this point, over 4 million books to the island and almost 3,000 computers. Uh, we've just completed our 18th library and computer lab in Grange Hill, the Grange Hill, Grange Hill Library. And our goal is to actually build 10 libraries in each parish, and uh, we're on our way to doing that. Um, our latest project that we began, and we've been officially been doing it for, for two years, is to, we're trying to build a hospital for Negril, the Negril International Hospital. And right now, as far as where that project is and, the, and, its, and its lifeline is, we're waiting on uh, to hear back from the go Jamaican government to see uh, what kind of deal we can strike with actually acquiring the land. So hopefully in the next two months, we'll get the answer finalized on that and we can actually do uh, a ribbon cutting ceremony, hopefully this summer. The more we become successful as a hotel, the more we can do as a community. Um, and I think um, that is, that's, that's that, that's the way it is. As we have become more successful, we have been able to do more for community, and not just in the grill, but um, just the, the island in general. And um, I can't wait to do a lot more things for, for Jamaica as far as that's concerned. The level of appreciation for what he has done as far as bringing the business to where it is now and to the point where we can take over, I mean, to, quite frankly, I don't know how he did it. Um, you know, and you know, between me and my brothers, I mean, we're all we're all college educated in, in business, and um, we're able to separate our duties based on our backgrounds. You know, I, I did I did finance, uh, Wingate did accounting, and Winfield did web development. And for one person to kind of do all that plus all the other secondary jobs that we have as individuals is just incredible, and it you know blows my mind to think you know how he did it for for 18 years. And whereas with my brothers, we, get, we feel like we're overwhelmed with our responsibilities as it is, but um, really, really appreciate the position that we're in and the opportunity that we have to be you know, starting our professional careers with such a boost. I want to say what's up to my mom in Brooklyn, East Flatbush, my auntie, my cousins, and uh, all my friends who are missing out in uh, Long Island. I'll be back in New York in like a month.